Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get all the tables which has primary key constraint created in SQL Server database. As a SQL Server developer, we often get this question. We want to gather that information for the documentation or maybe we want to have that information and we want to create the primary key on missing tables. So let's open SSMS and take a look. Here in the information underscore schema, we have this schema where a couple of views we can use. We can use a table underscore constraints and we can use a constraint underscore column underscore usage. So if I run select on this view, it will return me all the information, database name, schema name and constraint name and table so I, I have pretty much all the information what I need. So you can see that uh, I, it also tells me it is primary key or foreign key or whatever. So uh, if I will just gather this information from here, most of the things I can get. But only thing I do not have it on which columns these primary keys are created. To gather that information or to get, get those columns, I can use constraint underscore column underscore, underscore usage. So if I run this select, I have that information. I have a uh, database name. Table catalog is a database name, and the schema name. Then I have table name and column name. So, and also I have the constraint name here. But uh, as uh, this doesn't really tell, like, okay, this is primary key or foreign key or check constraint. Uh, so I have to join uh, with the table constraints. Uh, if uh, you always have uh, your primary key with the name P pk underscore something yeah then you don't need to join there you can always say where constraint like pk underscore some uh, and just say uh, pk where constraint name name like sorry you have to have underscore name like and just uh, say pk underscore if you don't want to even have underscore that's fine just uh, like this so this uh, will return you from uh, uh, here where see if I run this one it will return me the information related to the primary key and uh, you can see that I have the column I have the table and everything but uh, I knew that this constraint to start with PK but maybe in your case you do not have the same name and convention so you have to have use the both tables and join them and uh, that's where we will filter the record according to the primary key now what we are doing here, we are using a table underscore constraint view and then we are joining with the constraint underscore column underscore usage and we are joining on constraint name and table name. You can also include the schema if you have tables with different schemas. So you can say and, uh, sorry, and tc dot table schema is equal to ccu dot constraint schema or table schema maybe you can go with the table schema here and that's it now these columns i'm getting from this table so i alias this view as a tc and you see that i see i i am saying tc dot table catalog as database so tc dot table schema as table schema tc and dot table name as table name and CCU, so this is coming from this uh, uh, view, and I'm saying gave me the column, and and you remember that uh, this does not contain uh, the column name, and that's the reason we are joining with this uh, view to get that, uh, and the uh, TC dot constraint name is constraint name, uh, and uh, this is our joining condition. So once uh, inner join give us all the matching records uh, if the condition satisfied, so we know that constraint name does exist for. Uh, here and uh, for here so and table name and schema and we are only filtering uh, for primary key we don't care about foreign key constraint check constraint and all that because we are only interested uh, to get the primary key constraint uh, so we can use two system views uh, to gather this information uh, let's uh, run this uh, select query and we have a database name we have table name uh, sorry table schema table name and column name and constraint name and you can see that uh, this uh, table is uh, repeating two times and uh, we have f name and ssn but uh, the constraint name is the same that tells us uh, uh, this uh, constraint uh, is a composite uh, primary key so let's go and take a look so if we go to the table uh, customer one 
here and if I go to columns I will see right here so the golden key here say PK and also SSN say PK that means uh, this F name and SSN uh, they both are used as a primary key and uh, if we go to customer here sorry and uh, you will see the golden key is only on customer ID that means uh, only customer ID is involved in a primary key so that's the column where primary key is created but uh, in the customer one F name and SSN was used as a composite primary key so I hope this video will help uh, in uh, your creating documentation and figuring out which tables has the primary key thanks very much for watching this video and I will put the link in the description for the script so you can uh, take a take from there and test it and uh, experiment. Uh, thanks and I will see you guys in the next video.